When you're thinking about what time of day is best to spray, you're probably considering times when the wind isn't blowing hard. In today's Iron Talk, we'll discuss how calm conditions could be even worse than spraying with a light breeze. The reason calmer conditions could potentially be bad has to do with air inversions. Air inversions often happen in calm to very light wind weather conditions early in the mornings or in the evenings. During the middle of the day when the sun is shining, it warms up the ground. And as evening sets in, warm air rises from the ground and a cool layer of air comes underneath it. If you've ever gone for a walk in the evening and felt cool air as you walk through a valley and then felt warm air as you walked up the other side of the hill, you have felt an air inversion. You've probably seen an inversion when smoke rises only a little ways and then trails off sideways just under the warm layer of air. You've probably heard an air inversion when you hear noises such as a train from a great distance away that you normally wouldn't hear. When there's a layer of warm air trapped between cool air near the ground and another cool layer above it, it changes the rules for spraying safely. In an inversion, spray particles will move horizontally since they can't move vertically through these layers. This could result in spray drift moving further than you would ever imagine. To sum things up, yes, you do need to look for conditions where it's not too windy to spray, and often this is in the morning or after supper. However, you still need some common sense to avoid spraying when there are air inversions and moisture conditions that could negatively impact your spray's performance or lead to drift. We recommend avoiding spraying within two hours of sunset, as well as the first hour or so after sunrise. If the wind is below 3 miles an hour, that's another sign there could easily be an inversion at those times of day. Air inversions happen all the time, so be aware of them and adjust your spray plans accordingly. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.